So yeah, so tonight we are we are talking tonight about getting people plugged into the culture and what does that mean? And I heard something said so beautifully this weekend, actually was at my church and he said, everybody wants a friendly place that they can be plugged into where they can belong. Does that, does that hit any of you guys where it hits me? That's true. Yeah. yeah. And so I think too, that when we, when we can bridge that gap, like for Carol with her new, her new gal, Jackie, you know, they, they used to be related. And so, you know, to have somebody else to be able to come in and kind of bridge that and help out is, is plugging into the culture. So that was really great. You did that, Carol. And now we have somebody who's excited about being a light for other people. So that's beautiful. And, you know, when you guys, I mean, you guys are all friends here. And I always forget at conference that some of you have never actually touched each other physically. And when every time we go to conference, I freak out because I'm like, they're like, oh, it's so nice to meet. I'm like, what? Wait, what, what? Oh, that's right. You guys have never actually met, but you're all friends because of our team culture. And so um, I wanted Mel to share a little bit tonight because when we were talking about her and her team helping her get to qualifying national marketing director last week, I asked her, I said, you know, what do you think it was? And you said, well, definitely this idea, you know, gosh, when was that, that we had that culture? When did we do that? Was, Alan? Uh, Almost a year, about a year Almost ago. Almost a year ago? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we set this really big intention of like designing our culture and what we wanted that to look like and something that we were proud of, that we were excited about, that Actually, it was last summer. It was the summer. It yeah, wasn't it was that July. Long ago. It was July. It wasn't long ago. Okay. So anyway, and we came up with this mission statement for our group and our team. And that's our, you know, and when you go to our Facebook team page, that is kind of the background picture. What did they call that picture? The, the cover photo. The cover photo. Yeah. yeah. It's on the cover photo. And, you know, we took a lot of time really the whole day deliberating over Eight that hours. and exactly what the words were and what we wanted it to say because that was really our intention for what we wanted to create as a team and it's super important for what we're doing here because and I think Ellen you just said it two seconds ago but you said that people want to be part of so they join so they join juice plus to be part of our product because they want to be healthier or they want to be part of our mission and right. our business absolutely or they want to be part so of our culture. i said this earlier i said okay so we really have three products to offer number one the product is the most awesome product on the planet we know that we know the research mm -hmm. it's a no-brainer for everybody and i think this team absolutely excels at sharing stories and getting people on the product and really educating them i'm amazed at the chatter in this team about the education piece Secondly, the virtual franchise is a product, okay? For $50 a year, you can have your own virtual franchise and start your own business. Find me a better deal than that. Number three, our culture is a product, you guys. Think of it that way, feature it that way, because um, you know when they talk about people want a place to belong, people wanna know that they're part of something bigger than themselves. Like if you go through your whole midlife thing, like I've been going through, <laughs> we don't call it a crisis anymore, right? We call it like fun. But, <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> but seriously, and you realize, oh, it's not just about achievement. It's not about what other people think about me. It's not about how I look or what I do. It's not about those things. It's about the that I leave on this planet for how many you know days that God gives me here and so when you talk about our community um, I really think that this is where the mission begins it begins in how we surround each other and take care of each other love on each other and empower one another to I love what Jerry just said like Get a little bit out of the comfort zone and get a little, you know, stretch yourself, ask the hard questions because guess what? Every single person is here because somebody asked you a courageous question. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. what our community is all about. Yeah. And so when you guys, when we say getting plugged into the culture, you know, it's really important that when you guys get your new people started, that you bring them on this call. Now for me, it's kind of a, it's kind of a red flag. If I, if I've asked them and I've asked them and I've asked them 
and they won't get plugged in, well, you know, I have to kind of move on, right? But I want my new people plugged into this culture because I know that our village will help them become successful. Mm -hmm. And I cannot be the answer person for that person for every single thing, right? And I'm fully aware that somebody else, you know, they may have liked me and they may have joined my team, but they may really like Patty Benson and Bobby Benson and everything they say, they go, oh my gosh, that was exactly what I needed to hear. Mm -hmm. And I may have told them something like that, but my verbiage was different or whatever, or maybe I didn't answer it the right way. And just because somebody else on the team, you know, was able to come in and, and lend a hand and was willing to do that, they're able to move forward. So we want to really be really promoting our team, you guys. And I know how much mm -hmm. I appreciate all of you getting on our Monday night call. I look forward to our Monday night calls just so I can see your faces and kind of get a, a feel of what's going on, what do people need, and to try to bring something of value to you, but also to have other team members that are bringing value. And it's, it's a beautiful a beautiful thing and then when we can go out into the world we get to make a difference and I always like to kind of think of also getting plugged into the culture of our conference and if you're not coming to this conference I hope you change your mind it's not too late but come to the next boot camp come to the next conference because we have this little cup of, of love and I feel like when we're out sharing health we're pouring it out on every single person and then I know for me by the time conference rolls around my attitude's not as good. I'm tired. I, you know, I'm kind of like, ah, I got to do one. I start to get this attitude of I'm working, you know, and I go to conference and I get it all filled back up so that I can turn around for the next six months and just pour it back out. So that's part of also being plugged into the culture is being plugged into the beauty of what Juice Plus as the company, you know, provides to make sure that we have this amazing experience so that we can inspire healthy living in other people. So be sure you guys, when you are having somebody who joined your team, get that three-way call with somebody on the team. If it's not me, if I'm not the person, maybe it's Mel, mm -hmm. maybe it's Lauren Klitsch, maybe it's Ruby, whatever, right? Help each other. And you guys do such a great job at that. I just want to say um, amazing, Absolutely. especially huge thank you to Patty Benson, who is always there to answer questions. She is such a cog in the wheel of our team. And so many of you are, but you know, she's always there. And so we count on Patty for that, right? Mm -hmm. We couldn't do this without Patty being as part of our village. And you guys get to have your people who come on be part of that. And that is just awesome. So anything else you guys want to add to that? No, I absolutely agree. I think that, you know, one voice is something, but multiple voices becomes a beautiful choir. And everybody has such a unique perspective and a unique story of what brought you here. And as we grow and develop our teams, your stories actually, their, their value really kind of increases in a way because, you know, it's kind of like you got to pass down that information. I always kind of think of like tribal cultures, right? right? They pass down stories and they pass down illustrations and things like that. And that's really, you know, you guys are the ones that are, that are bearing that. And that's what our culture is all about. And I, I love that you talked about conference because I think that that, um, that source of rejuvenation is so important. And, you know, so often I see people kind of cut corners and it's, it's a little bit like self-care, right? You've got to put the oxygen mask on yourself first. And right. I will be mm -hmm. the first to tell you that that is a constant struggle. But you know what? When you really draw that line in the sand and say, okay, I'm coming to conference. I'm going to be with my people. I'm going to invite a couple people on my team that I'm totally chicken to ask. You know, when you draw that line in the sand, stuff starts to happen. And you'll be amazed at how things start to, you know, kind of move in your favor. And I mean, I was just sharing with Reagan the other day, like, my win for me is if I can Airbnb my house while I'm gone because it pays for my hotel in Phoenix. <laughs> you know, so that's really fun for me. So just, you know, also as a leader, like I'm also kind of in that same place as you guys, you know, it's like, okay, making things happen and kind of wiggling around the obstacles. But I know how much conference is going to grow me, even though I've been to 20 I don't know. Last right. conference was my 20th conference, I think. So, uh, you know, I, it's like I wouldn't miss it for anything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and the other thing about getting plugged into the culture, you guys, and into the, getting your people plugged in is you can't go out and build a big business if you're the one having to worry about everything. 
right? Mm -hmm. If you're the one that has to train somebody every week and you're the one that has to worry about, you know, taking care of all of the customer group and all of the team group and you're, you're welcome to start your own, but I'm telling you that if you're part and we do it together, you don't have to do as much work. We get to do it together. And again, that, that like Ellen said, the choir sings a beautiful song for these people and they get, you know, they, they find it's contagious and they catch it and they, they want to come on along. Right. Mm -hmm. So, and I don't think that Absolutely. you probably, I mean, uh, Mel's growth, you guys, in the last two months, two months ago, we were having a conversation about, well, maybe she would hit QNMD in June or maybe at the end of the year. And, um, and then we just said, you know what, with the structure comes the title and plug everybody into the team because that'll give you more time to go out and share and help the people that you've already brought on. And I don't think, I mean, her volume went in two months, boom, and they promoted her. Like it was, she's already almost got NMD volume just in two months. And we were looking, we were looking way out, right? So I don't know if you want to speak to that at all. Yeah. I mean, that was definitely a huge piece of an intentional conversation about building into our culture and it being a village of, of people that are going to, so I was always really concerned. Okay. So I have three kids. I'm max. I always tell people they're like, Oh, what, don't you want to go for the girl? And I'm like, no way. I'd have two boys. And what else, you know, I'd have twin boys. And <laughs> then what I would, what would I do? And I'm like, I would love to have more babies. I just can't keep them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the funny thing here is that you guys, that's how I was looking at my business. I was like, I can't take care of any more people. Like I literally couldn't do it. And it scared me to step into the leader that I needed to be because I thought of it as taking care of more people. And Reagan was like, well, what if you didn't have to take care of all those people? What if there was a village that could help raise your babies? And that what to me was like this light bulb went off and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not plugging people into our culture because we do have this great source of people. Like I'm like Missy Kaiser and, yeah. and Dr. Rankin and, you know, all of these people, Patty Benson and Ellen and Reagan, that yeah. when I add these people to our team, I know that my culture is going to help them get the answers that they need if I'm off doing a wellness presentation for somebody else and getting my new people started and doing my life with my family. I was worried so much about what going for my goals and my dreams was going to take away from my life rather than add to it. That's so good. And... Oh. Can I get away? This in? community, you guys, when I <laughs> when I shared on <laughs> <I'm in. laughs> but when I shared on on Come the on. Voxer group, when you guys were all like cheering me on and congratulations and all that kind of stuff for Q, you guys, that wasn't just me, that wasn't just my team that I sponsored. That was our whole group that did that. That's right. And I'm grateful to each of you. For, for being part of that, but that is real, you guys. Like, that is what we have here, and that's our culture that we're plugging people into. We, I know there's been a lot of us that have been here for a really long time, and I love you and adore you, and I get so excited that I get to squeeze your neck when we go to conference because we actually get to see each other in person. But this community makes so, um, it's a, like an added bonus on top of what we have with our amazing Juice Plus product, like Alan said, this amazing business that we get the opportunity to be a part of, but this culture is why I love it and why I stay and why I wanna grow and give people the opportunity to be a part of this. So um, I would just encourage you guys to plug into our culture because you never know what people are gonna get um, from it or what they need to get and the variety of people that they get to plug into and and take little be bits and pieces and nuggets from is something that maybe I wouldn't have spoken to them and they wouldn't have been yeah, able to and maybe me. you so, will and, and, and yeah so you're all leaders and maybe it's your a lot of times when we have people that are coming up in the marketing plan sometimes they're like well I'm I'm afraid to be a leader or I'm not a good leader or whatever and actually the fact that you show up, you are a leader. Mm -hmm. And if you can kind of think about it as I can help out and I can be part of that community, then you're adding to the community. So don't just, just don't just be a rock, you know, 
come in and, and get busy and, and add to the culture because you're part of it. And Absolutely. so together, everybody achieves mm -hmm. more. That's team, right? Together, everybody achieves more. So I'm really proud of you all. I think you guys are amazing. Mm -hmm. I think we have the most amazing people on our team out of every team I know. Of course, I'm biased, but um, it's true. <laughs> no, we're the sure. best, and I think I think that you know this is really a time for us to celebrate you all and really give credit where credit is due, because I think um, sometimes you know what happens what happens is we get we get so excited about achievement or title or things, but we kind of we kind of miss the point that you guys are all you're all doing the day-to-day -day stuff and you're out there telling your stories to people, which is the most important thing and making a difference because I've always said since I came into juice plus, I'm like, you know, one person out there does not get cancer. One person out there does not have a heart attack. One person out there does not get an autoimmune disorder because of this work, then it was worth it. And that's what you guys are doing. And I think you really have to give yourselves credit for that. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yay. Okay. So with that, do you guys have anything else you on your heart? Or should we open I'm it up so for questions? I'm so excited for Phoenix. I am, me too. I am too. So love to hear um, any comments or anything you guys want to add. We'll open up the floor. Don't be shy. I have a, well, not a question, a comment and a question, I guess. I, one of the reasons that I joined was because I love the mission of the company and I got that pretty quickly that I could, you know, have Reagan as a mentor. And I came from a, you know, from the university and we, it's all kind of about culture and, and mentorship there. But how do you, I guess, how do you guys talk to your pr prospects about that benefit? You know, we talk a lot about the product. We talk, we talk about the franchise, but what's, what, what, are the besides saying the, this the mission's great and the and, you know the culture's great what how do you how do you talk to people about that to That's really convey to really about. convey the enormity of it because i think it i think it's a, it is a huge plus yeah mm -hmm. so first is I, I let them know that there is a hugely supportive community here that they don't have to be doing this all by themselves and that i'm going to put them in our boxer chat right up front i have heard a few people on our team, and I can't remember who it was, say they're hesitant to put them in the Boxer chat on day one. And I'm like, you know what, I trust people, I trust our team, and I want them in that Boxer chat, but I also preface it with, look, here's how you use it. There, there could be a lot of messages some days and none some other days, and here's, let's turn your sound off. And so I get them kind of set up, but I let them realize that this is somewhere they can learn and they can listen and they cannot be shy and ask a question and somebody will get back to them. They, of course, they're always welcome to call me, just like I did with you, right? And then also into our Facebook group. And, um, and then I, I get them on the call, you know, and there's, it's, again, I've got some people that have joined my team in the last couple of months that they won't get on the call. But to me, that's a little bit of a red flag, like, do they really, you know, are they happy where they are? Whatever, that's fine. I'm going to be grateful that they're there. But somebody like you, Rachel, you, you're getting on the calls. Like, of course, I'm going to pay a lot of attention to being, a, a, you know, right there for you no matter what, because I know that's what you want. And so, but the only reason you want that is because you got a taste of this culture by coming in and you were amazing in that you came right in and added to the culture, which has, you've been like a godsend mm -hmm. for this company for having a PhD with nutrition, you know, giving education and answering those hard questions. That's beautiful. It's a beautiful relationship. So that's how. Yeah. And you know, I mean, I have a, like, for example, I have a, you know, new, new person who's signed, you know, and she's, but she's not somebody who uses technology very much. So she hasn't even, you know, downloaded the Voxer app yet. And I think yeah. she's afraid to get on the Zoom call and it's hard to even, you know, nail her down for a one-on-one -on -one or a three-way with you. So, but, you know, and yet I know that she, she, when, when I, when she first joined, I think she was excited about being part of the team, but then yet, you know, but yet she's hesitant to like, I think, jump in feet first. And I, how do, I, that's where I'm trying to sort of, you know, you want to give them that nudge to say, you know, you're really yeah. you're missing out on something great here. You know, don't, don't be hesitant. Yeah. I think, I think you guys heard me. I think it was an answer to Carol's question actually um, last week. She said, how do you invite? And my answer will be the same with this. I'm just up front with people. So for her, I would call her and say, I feel some hesitancy. You were, I knew you were excited at yeah. first. Tell me what's come up for you. 
Yeah. You know, let's just address it versus me assuming, well, maybe she lost interest. I mean, the problem is, is that when you start to make up a story and you're not sure, it's always bad. Have you guys ever noticed that? <laughs> you know, so yeah. you might as well go, well, it's probably she's busy or whatever. And so think of something else and then just ask and say, you know, what's come up for you? And then say, gosh, you know, why don't you come over to the house? She lives by you. Why don't you come over? I'd love to introduce you to the team. I've told them about you. They can't wait to meet you. Um, you know, because you, you did a great job of welcoming her. So have her come over or go to her house and get on Zoom and say, gosh, you know what? I totally get that sometimes technology is overwhelming. But guess what? It's so easy. I'm going to show you how easy it is. And once you do it twice, you're going to know how to do it. So make it easy for people. Mm -hmm. It's a good, yeah. And everybody has an excuse when they're, you know what that is? Mm -hmm. It's called fear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And what is she afraid of? Something she doesn't know what it is. So once we get people, you know, to where they know what's going on, then they're not afraid anymore. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, Vicki uh, McGonagall is a huge example of that. She's scared to death when she first started getting on these things and wouldn't speak up. And now look at her. She's like amazing. You know, so mm -hmm. but she's, she's, yeah. she can do it, you know? Yeah. So we had to handhold her a little bit at the beginning and now she's out there being a fierce, you know, fire for people. So yeah. So yeah, just be, be patient, but keep inviting. Yep. So, good question. So I had a question. Yeah. If, um, so I know Mel and O'Regan. I think I met Ellen once, and Vicky's a, a great resource. But are, how do I get? Who else might I be talking to if you four aren't available? How do I get phone numbers and? Is it, just is go right into the Boxer group, and somebody will answer your question. That's your yeah. that's your fastest place. To get a question answered is through Voxer. Great. Yeah, and if it's you know something that uh, maybe people don't know or whatever, um, you can always call the company. Yeah. But if it's like, how do I how do I invite somebody to a target party or whatever, you'll get you ask that question, you'll probably get ten responses back in Voxer. And different ideas. Everybody Perfect. loves to help. So, and usually you'll find one of us anyway. So, anybody else? Go ahead, Carol, unmute, hold on. I gotcha, go ahead, Carol. Um, another thing I was gonna say um, is when I got a few new people, even if they were just new customers, I just kept feeding um, a lot of the information that was coming over Voxer. You know, you guys would put up a, a website or a video or something, and I would pass that on and I just kept feeding them information about Juice Plus and about the products and about, um, well, the business a little bit, but um, I, just, I just kept giving them little bits, you know, like every, at least once or twice a week, I try and, and hit my new people with a little bit of info or, you know, did you know this about, even if it wasn't related to Juice Plus, if it was just related to nutrition, yeah, you know, I would just try and feed them a little bit along the way. But a lot of the information came from Boxer, a lot. Yeah. And I learned a lot there. Yeah, Boxer is amazing. And I don't know if you guys know this, but if you go, this is something I always forget, but now I'm using it like almost every day because we had a lot of questions that have come up or people have messaged me with a question. But if you go to the very top of your Boxer, you scroll up before the chats, so there's a search bar. And if, let's say somebody said, um, I need to know something about Tower Garden. You could type in Tower Garden and then search the chats. And as long as you're on Voxer Pro, which totally, you guys, if you guys are building a business, it's $19.99 a year, I think. Right. Um, you, it'll save all of your previous chats. Don't delete your chats. There's really no reason to do that. And then anything that's come through, it'll show right up, and you can forward that message on. So that's why you guys will see, like, somebody said something about the, that gene mutation and I always forget yeah. MTFTR or whatever, uh, HR or whatever. And I just typed that in and up came like 15 things from all the chats that I'm in that I was able to forward through. So it's kind of, I love the Voxer. I did not know you could do that. See. That is awesome. See, that's why you get plugged in so you yeah, learn something awesome. new all the time. That's awesome. Oh, and listen, I'm just going to say that it was back in the very beginning when I got started as a distributor. Despite the fact that I'm an extrovert, despite the fact that I was a brand new stay-at-home mom with like no friends and wondering what the heck I had done to my life, 
I didn't get the culture piece. And I will say this, my, my upline was so persistent in continuing to invite me. You guys continue to invite me to events. And that is what ultimately hooked me here. Like I might've been one of those people that did my 2000 plus and then disappeared, you know, into the ether, but it was the culture that really hooked me here. So, um, be persistent in inviting people. Like I always tell my team, you're an insider. Remember everybody you're talking to is an outsider. They don't know what you know. And sometimes, especially when you get used to this, mm -hmm. we sort of start to make assumptions that people know what we know and guess what? They don't, they have no idea. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys, we'll see you um, on the call next Monday. And um, I know I will be getting ready to leave the conference the next day. So we'll probably have an open format next week to bring questions or anything you need help with. And then the week after, so then we have conference next week. And um, the week after conference, we're going to skip that call because everybody's coming home and we're going to give you a rest. And then we're going to do a conference wrap up the following Monday. So if you're coming to conference, please take copious notes and share. I'd love for you all just to come and share what was your big ahas from conference. And if you guys would be willing to just be part, I don't want to have to assign everybody something. I think it always feels better if we can just, you know, what, what impacted your life. I, it's always a better call for me. So if you guys can do that. And, um, and then we're, we're going to just use our Boxer chat through the conference. So those of you that aren't coming to conference, don't feel left out because <laughs> we'll probably say we're having a party over here, be there. Um, just know that we love you and we're thinking about you and we'll try not to have your beeper go off too much, but um, we'll also put some updates as we go through conference so you guys know kind of what, what's new and kind of cool so you guys don't miss out on all that. It's going to be super fun. Okay. Hey, Reagan. Yeah. I'm way behind on my Voxer. So I know I'm signed up for the team dinner. Is there anything else that I'm behind on getting signed up for, for a conference? No, um, Saturday um, after conference, we'll just, we're just going to go grab a drink somewhere and we'll okay. kind of figure out where we're going to go. We haven't, yep. I think Garrett. Garrett's on it. Garrett's on it. He's going to find a cool spot for us. Okay. Yeah. Had we'll some fun. See him. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. Gonna All right. it See everybody there. I'm very mm -hmm. excited.